SM11. There are plenty of narratives out there on this card. I mean, so many of them out there. Is Mook versus Ree gonna be a drawn out snooze fest? That's the one thing. Number two, is Surf gonna get through his rounds clean? All three rounds versus John John. Number three, is this card gonna be better than Civil War? And number four, is MVP and real name Brandon ready for the big stage? Let's break these narratives down. So for a long time, the culture has always wanted to see Mook versus Reed. I mean, even from the beginning, when Mook was in his heyday on Smack DVD, Reed was doing his thing on Too Raw for the Streets. This matchup has been a long time coming. I mean, we've been waiting for this forever, but is it too late? I'd rather see it now than never. The Iron Solomon battle, that one was on a big stage type of setting. It was too drawn out. The five rounds was too much. You can call that battle an experiment because five battles, yeah, that was too much. It was long and tiring. The Luxury match is still boring to this day. I don't know what happened with the crowd or Total Slaughter. I have no idea. That battle is not a rewatchable one. The Verb battle on RBE was a good showing, but it wasn't as big of a crowd as the Lux and the Solomon battle. Rock versus Mook was good, but again, that's in a small setting. It's not on a big setting. So what are we going to get? That's the question. I mean, Reed... When he came back, he had a decent one round maybe against John John. He had a good showing against Rex on Summer Madness. Reed versus Shine was okay, I guess. I expect this to be the best Reed that we've ever seen. I expect him to go hardcore, take this Fody to the neck. There's just so much behind this. So many storylines on this battle. It's, it shouldn't be a letdown at all. Let's move on to another narrative. John John is probably one of the best battle rappers that you've seen overall. No chokes, great angles. He's very hard to get a W against. Notably, Hollow tried on that big stage and he failed. Rum tried in a small room and he failed. Geechee tried in a medium sized room and he failed too. No one's gonna just get John John out of here. Yeah, Surf has a lot of star power and he has the crowd behind him. So I guess that's something that John John has to fight against, but don't forget how well he did last time he was in Houston. Must I say, Jack Boy Maine. Surf isn't a better writer than John John. Surf has nothing to prove. He proved that he could not not choke against Rum even after year and a half hiatus from the game. He proved with all the trash talking about battling in this era, he couldn't even get through his rounds against the biggest match to this date in Loaded Lux. He proved that being matched up with a great Supreme Rider who happens to be a female in 40 bars and put him in a mini retirement, he was no match for. If Surf gets sent to the moon in a small room from John John, then he should get sent to the moon on a big stage. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Civil War has one of the best battles of the year on it, and Av versus Real Sick. Can SM11 produce at least one on that same level? I'll give you three of my matchups that give you a fighting chance. Geechee versus Calico. It has all the ingredients. It has all the street talk. We all know that Geechee will bring it, but will Calico? Calico had a good showing against Hitman on RBE. Seems like he does pretty well on RBE versus Ill Will. He did all right against Big K. I just wish he would bring some of that energy to URL. His matchups against Briz was not good. His verb was a snooze fest. Those were just unwatchable. Geechee has been sitting out for a minute since the tournament. So he has a lot to prove. Geechee has a lot to prove and he wants to add more to his champion of the year run. Shine versus Hollow. Shine's been sitting for a minute. And he has a lot of built up anger from that Chilla battle. Even more built up anger from sitting out for that daylight battle that never happened. Shine is going to be about 95% plus on 10. Hollow will need to be vintage Hollow. 
I'm not sure if he can tap into that old hollow like that hollow that went against Clips. I'll even take the hollow that went against Rock. I mean, he even came with it versus Pat Stay on that second battle on KOTD. But it should be a classic. Easy versus Chess. Easy is just prime time. I mean, Easy, the block captain, is leading this new class along with Real Sick. Every battle that Easy has is very rewatchable. He has rounds that can stand the test of time. I mean, nothing gets old, nothing spoils like milk. He's so impressive and I don't expect him to slow down. Chess has been on a tear ever since he's been back. One of the battles of the year with Loso. He had a great battle against Kid Chaos. Chess can get back to that top tier status with the win on Summer Madness. Lastly, this ultimate madness feels like the weakest one out of all the ultimate madnesses. Do you feel that? Or is it just me? Number one, the controversy with NXT versus Elijah Strait. Number two, the easy road to summer madness for a real name Brandon. MVP had a great showing and he deserves a spot. He went through the trenches on the crucible and you saw the progression. I guess the question is, will his punchlines translate? It worked for Khan and Magic. Real name Brandon still has a lot to prove. He can make up for his lack of visibility with a big showing at SM11. Hit the like button, subscribe. Peace out.